Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and to another video. I hope you're all doing really, really well. So I have been kindly gifted something that I have seen on my TikTok recently. A few influencers have been receiving this very thing and it just looks so delicious. And they apparently sent me some as well to try and I've got the box right here. It's just arrived. So let me open it up, show you what it is and who it's from. So this has been sent to me from Kismet Kebab and they have kindly sent me some of their pre-cooked um, doner kebab and chicken kebab to try. So I'm so excited to try it because who doesn't love a doner kebab here and there? Um, they've kindly written me a little note which just says, Dear Sobia, we're excited to share our new Eastern Delight kebab range with you. Um, we hope you enjoy our kebabs as much as we do. Can't wait to see your feedback on YouTube. And trust me, I'm so excited to try these. Um, so yeah, look at how good that looks on the back. And it's got a little instruction here. Oh, it was upside down. Here we go. Um, so we've got some instructions here, how to make the perfect doner kebab. So it just tells you what you can add and the amounts. And yeah, they have sent to me these one kg bags. So this one is their pre-cooked and sliced chicken kebab. And it looks like that. It looks absolutely delicious. And these are all halal, by the way, um, if you are interested. And yeah, they've sent me literally two packs of the chicken kebab. And then they've also sent me their pre-cooked and sliced doner kebab. Now that looks so good. I love doner kebabs. Um, I don't have them often, but when I do, oh, they're just amazing, so delicious. So yeah, um, I'm gonna pop these in the freezer now. Like I said, they have sent me two of these as well. Thank you so, so much. I mean, they've kindly sent me so much of this to try. Um, I'll definitely be sharing this out. I won't be eating it all alone. But um, yeah, I'm gonna pop this in the freezer and I will come back and continue this video when I go ahead and make my doner kebab. So it is now time to make our doner kebab and I am so, so excited. So I'll be having this for lunch. I've skipped breakfast altogether just so I can save my appetite for this because like I said, I'm super excited to try it. I really hope that it is nice and I'll be truthful and very honest on how it tastes. But first of all, um, what am I gonna serve it on? So I don't have any pita bread in the house. I don't have any naan. Um, I do have wraps, but I feel like wraps um, just won't work. I prefer a naan. So I'm gonna be making my own naan. I'll just make the one and I'll be using my two ingredient dough to make this. Honestly, this dough can make multiple things. Um, you can make so many things with it. So it works really well for flatbreads, naans, anything of that sort. So I'm just gonna go ahead, do that first, and then we are going to cook up the doner kebab and the chicken doner. Um, and then, yeah, we're gonna put it all together. I'm gonna cut up some salad. I'm gonna add some sauces. I might make a garlic sauce as well i think that'll be really nice with it so yeah oh my god my mouth is watering so let's get started on making our naan right so i thought my camera was recording and it wasn't so i'm sorry about that but i've literally added in 150 grams of self-raising flour and then i've added in 150 grams of greek yogurt so just half and half and this is what it's looking like so you just want to give this a mix until it forms a dough. I am gonna pop this down. I'm gonna go in with my hands, it's so much easier. So I'll show you that now. So as you can see, the dough is coming together really nicely. It is a little bit sticky, but that's all right because when we roll it out, I will be um, adding more flour to my surface. So I'm just gonna let this sit here now for around five minutes and we're just gonna move on to prepping the actual doner meat. Okay, so I've got the doner out of the freezer. I'm just going to see how long this needs to be put in. I'm going to do it in my Ninja Duels on air fryer. Um, so 200 degrees um, for around 10 minutes. And then I've got the chicken one as well. And that one is 180 degrees um, for 8 to 10 minutes. So what I'll do is I'll use both baskets of my Ninja Duel Zone. I'll put one in one and the other in the other. Um, 
so yeah let's add some in it is just for me um it's only me eating so i'm just gonna put a little bit of both in and yeah i'm excited to try it okay i hope you can see so i'm just gonna put this open so this is already pre-sliced as you can see there um so i'm just gonna it smells exactly like the takeaway one already um so let's add some of that in there okay i think that's more than enough in there and then let's do the chicken kebab okay there is the chicken one so i've got them both in now i'm gonna pop these on um following the instructions so 200 degrees for the doner kebab i think let me just double check yeah 200 degrees for around 10 minutes 180 degrees for around 8 to 10 minutes so i'm going to pop those in and then we'll continue to make our naan okay now for the naan i'm just going to flour my surface and pop my dough on there this might actually be enough for two it looks like a lot but we'll see so i'm actually going to divide this into two because i do think there's a lot of dough there so i'm just going to roughly divide that and we're going to work on one of them first so like i said it can be a little bit sticky but just add flour as and when you need it and i'm just going to roll this into a ball and then we're just going to start rolling it out with a rolling pin any shape or size that you want you don't want it to be too thick um, at the same time not too thin either so let me grab my rolling pin i'm going to add just a little bit more flour and I'm gonna start rolling this out. This is what I love about this dough. It's just so quick and easy to do. You don't need it to sit there for hours. You don't need to let anything rise. You literally leave it for a minute or so and it's ready to roll out. And I'm also not going for a perfectly round shape. Okay, I think I'm happy with the size now. So I'm just gonna pop this onto a non-stick pan and you're literally just gonna let it cook and turn it over every couple of minutes until it's golden brown on both sides. Right, okay, so I've finally finished doing everything. So I'll show you my flatbread, naan, whatever you wanna call it. That is here. I did brush it with some butter to keep it nice and soft. But just look at that, it looks beautiful. And then the doner is out of the air fryer. Now, I totally misjudged the amounts I was putting in, so I only did a little bit of the chicken one. But it just looks like this. Like I said, it is pre-sliced. It smells amazing. And then this is the donut. And as you can see, it looks exactly like the takeaway one. And like I said, smells so good and I'm so excited. Um, I have also just prepared some salad. So I've got some cabbage, red onion and some lettuce. And then for sauces, I've got the extra hot chili sauce. Now this one will blow your head off, it literally will. So I'm just gonna put the tiniest amount because I feel like with a doner kebab, you need a little bit of chili sauce. So that's what I'll be using. I have also got the yogurt and mint sauce. This one's really nice on kebabs as well. And then I also made a homemade garlic sauce. So for this, I just did two tablespoons of Greek yogurt, one tablespoon of mayo, three cloves of garlic, and a little bit of dried mint and this is just so, so tasty. So let's go ahead and assemble our kebab. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So flatbread first, then I'm gonna add my salad. Actually, no, I'm gonna add my garlic sauce first, and I'm just going to put both types of meat on one, and then I can just cut it in half because one flatbread is way too much. Um, to have for each one. So we've got some garlic sauce. I'm gonna go on with some lettuce, loads of lettuce. Oh, and a bit of cabbage there. Let's add a bit more. Then I've got some red onion as well. Just gonna add as much salad as I can. And then we'll go ahead and add our meat. So I'm gonna start with the donut 
first this lamb donner so i'm just going to put that on one end and then i will add the chicken one down here i definitely made way too much but that's all right so yeah i think that looks good and now i'm just going to top with the sauces so I'm going to start with the chilli sauce. Like I said, you want to be super careful with this because it is super hot. So I'm literally just going to add little bits like that. I think that's good. And then we're going to add some of that yoghurt and mint sauce over the top. And oh my God, that looks delicious. Oh my God, this smells and looks delicious. Look at that. Oh my God, this feels so naughty. I feel like I've got a takeaway. Honestly, look at that. It looks so good. So I'm just going to fold it over and we are going to... Oh my God, it's so full. I'm going to fold it over best as I can and then I'm just going to cut this in half so that we've got chicken on one side and the doner kebab on the other. Okay, I just cut it straight down the middle. I'm going to try and lift this up. Wow, this is literally so full. Look at that. Oh my God, it looks so good. Right, it's time for a taste test. And we're going to see if this is as good as it smells and looks. This is absolutely delicious. Just look at that. Honestly, it tastes exactly like a takeaway. Such a treat. These are so convenient to have. If you fancy a takeaway, you can literally just whip it up in no time. Honestly, this is delicious. So good. And I kind of knew that I'd love the doner kebab because it's one of my favourites. The chicken one, however, I don't usually buy. I've had it a few times. This is delicious. We'll pop this to a side and we're going to try the chicken one which is also exploding it's so full so here is the chicken one literally bits falling out because it is so full so let's give this a try as well oh this is so messy though it's literally falling as you can see there'll be nothing left in this right let's take a bite guys Honestly, these are both so delicious, absolutely delicious. They've got so much flavour and I think with all of the sauces, the salad in there, it's literally a copy of a takeaway. So I'm so, so glad that they sent these out to me because like I said, they're so good. I'm going to be sharing these out with everyone. I mean, the ones in the freezer because they've sent so many, but you can literally just keep them in there and when you fancy a takeaway, I'm definitely going to do it this way anyway. When I fancy a takeaway, I'm just going to take out some of it, pop it in the air fryer and make my very own because I just can't believe how good this tastes. Um, honestly, it's so, so delicious. Um, I will leave all their details in the description below where you'll be able to find their products. They've got so many different ones to choose from as well. Um, but I would definitely recommend you try these because if you're a doner kebab lover, then believe me, you're going to absolutely love these as well. So thank you so much to Kismet Kebabs for sending these out to me to try. I appreciate it so much and they are delicious. So thank you again. So yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this now. Like I said, this is kind of brunch for me. I've skipped breakfast today just so I can save myself for this. And I'm so glad that I did. I'm going to enjoy this now sit down watch some tv and yeah thank you so much for watching guys don't forget i'll leave everything in the description box below if you do want to check them out and i will see you all really soon take care bye